What's up, guys? <laughs> and we are back again for another episode. So what today we're going to cover on is one of the topic that I find a lot of people is really interested on, but also at the same time, it is something that white belt should also understand what is the do's and don'ts in this situation. And today what we're going to work on is on the ankle lock situation. Okay? Sorry, I have to adjust my belt. Okay. So basically, in the ankle lock situation, what you guys always remember in this situation is my ability to get on the grip, my ability to control the hips, and my ability to finish the ankle lock in this situation. This is the ideal situation in order for me to finish the ankle lock from here. But in order for us to understand better in this situation is how am I going to finish him in the best scenario? Because normally, whenever it's scrambled to finish a situation, what's going to happen is my opponent going to try to work on the escape. So if he's going to push me down from here, whenever he's here. And whenever his knee line is out from this situation where I'm also trying to finish from here, this is not possible. So ideally, I want his knee line to be always in and this is where I'm able to control over him to work on the finish. And second concept that I want to apply on also is the ankle lock grip because I don't want to just hold it here and try to finish him from here because this is where the grip is not strong. But what I'm going to try to aim on is I'm going to try to grab it as low as possible almost at the Achilles level from here and this is where I'm going to able to try to work from the finish. So as long as I have the control over the knee line and I have the control over this ankle, all I have to do is just bring my elbows in. Now, I'm able to finish him from here. And one of, one of the do's and don'ts in this situation is so whenever my opponent is going to try to like scoot themselves to the back, so now, whenever I cross my leg towards this direction, this is where in most competition, this is illegal. Secondly, you see, I don't have the D-line control. And whenever I cross here and I try to like finish from here, if I turn towards this direction, I'll get automatically disqualified for this. Even though I'm in this situation where I put my legs in or I cross, it, cross this belly, I still have the full control, this is also illegal in this situation. So be, be aware that what I want to do is my legs try to stay here and here. Nothing cross over the belly because when I cross the belly, when it becomes knee rib, this is where it becomes illegal in most competition, especially in knee. And another one more concept in this situation is whenever I go for the ankle lock, what I want to do is I don't want to just push and then just be heavy on the leg. So if this, if this is the motion when I try to finish, what Omar try to do is Omar can just use his hand and just push, push it off easily. But instead of me doing that, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to pinch it together. So it's like a scissors motion where I pinch it together from here. Now this is a stronger grip. grip. So if Omar tried to like push it down, it's still possible, but it's not going to be as easy as me pushing my leg forward. So what I want to do is I'm going to try to pinch it down. So without Omar, I don't want this motion, but what I want to do is I'm going to try to pinch it together like a scissors motion. And the other concept that I want to talk about also is I don't want to just focus a lot on like finishing the leg lock, but I want to be dynamic or be flexible enough that if there's a situation that, that is presented to me, instead of me just trying to fight for the finish, so if I try to fight for the finish, if I want to push me down, I feel that I lose this grip, I don't want to hold on to this, but instead I just try to get up and I'm able to secure some points if assumed. I start swimming from the top to the bottom and this is where I'm able to secure some points. So don't just try to focus a lot on like just finishing the leg locks, but if you have ability to score points over this, just go ahead. And next situation is whenever we are here. Sometimes you have an opponent where I really have a very strong ankle and I try to finish him and it's not possible. And at the same time, it's also his fight where he's going to try to like get up from here. So I have the other option. Instead of me just Focusing on finish here, I have the option where I'm able to control his leg here and now go for the finish from here. Okay, it's a, quite a nasty thing, but if assume now in a situation where Omar also able to push his leg down and try to escape, there's also an option for me to continue to get up from here and finish him from here. Okay, and there's other situation wherever I'm controlling him and now Omar knows that if he moves to this side and all, 
it's not going to be easy because I'm also having a different type of counter towards him. So whenever he tried to like pull me up straight from here, this also happens. We are able to switch my grips to RNC grip and now I just have to turn. And I'm able to finish him from here. So this concept only applies whenever I fail to finish from here. When he tried to pull me up, I switch my grips, control, and turn. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next, next I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.